the horn is working. So what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Another episode of We Rebuild. We got the change of clock spring on the Volkswagen Passat today. And um, we're gonna go to Harbor Freight, get an OBD2 scanner. And the link will be in the description below. We're gonna change the clock spring on this 2012 Volkswagen Passat. We don't have no horn. None of the buttons work. And last video, we already checked the fuses, the relays, so it should be the clock spring. So let's get to it and change out the clock spring. First, you wanna make sure that the steering wheel is turned. Get a flathead screwdriver, and just pry it up. So you get that side off. get this side off another way to make it easier you can bring, bring the steering wheel all the way out put that back in so now you have a lot of room to play with so the first screw we're gonna take take out is this so you're gonna take out this screw right here you it's the t25 and then there's one more around here on this side all you have to do is just turn the steering wheel and you're gonna see the other screw it's on this side you're gonna see the other screw it's on this side and it's a t25 to pull this screw let's get to it We got this screw out and this one out. Now, all I have to do is take the key out. Pull it down on here. There's one more screw under, under here. I'm gonna get it and it should come out easy. Now that the bottom screw is out, you just pull down on it and it should come off so now we know that's off the first thing we want to do is pull the two pins behind there to take the airbag out remember take the battery terminal off the battery terminal is off so now it's time to pull the airbag out So there's a pin behind the airbag to get it out. I don't know if you can see it. That pin right there, you push it, you push it inwards and that should push up the airbag. And then we do it to the other side and push it up and then the airbag should come right out. So we got the left side done already. So now we're moving to the right side. And the airbag is out. Just pull it up. The airbag is out. So now I'm turning back the steering wheel in the middle. So when I put the new clock spring in, it's easier to find it. So the airbag is out. I'm gonna pull this wire off and we have one more wire. Let me see if I can make y'all see easier. To pull the airbag, the airbag out, just press this white button down. Press it down and pull it out. Comes out just like that. Then we have one more. Just pull this all the way down and it should come out just like that. We have our airbag out. Now it's time to take the steering wheel off. To take the steering wheel off, you need a T55 to pull the steering wheel off. Then we're gonna take the clock spring out. 
Now we have it in, so we're about to take it off. Steering wheel, steering wheel is locked, makes it easier. So now that bolt is out, steering, steering wheel just comes right off. So now, now this is the clock spring. So we have three screws that we have to pull. One, two, and three right here. Once we get all three out, then we can pull the, plock, the clock spring out. Next thing you want to do is pull this, this wire out. Just pull down on this red tab. Pull down on it, press it. It should come out just like that. You have one more right here. Just pull it down. Press this, press this button, pull it out. So now the clock spring is all disconnected. Now we're just gonna take these three screws out and then put a new clock spring in. To pull the three screws out, you need a T15 to pull the three screws out. All three screws are out. We have to just pull this and then get the connector out and this connector out and we should be good with the clock spring. And then we're just gonna throw that new clock spring on and that new earbag. We just disconnect the three clips of the wires. So now, clock spring is out this is the old one we're about to get the new one right now so we got the new clock spring and the old one so this is the old one we're gonna put a new one in and see if that fix our problem <laughs> steering wheel is back in now so before i screw everything back up i'm gonna check all my wires so now we change the clock spring and uh the horn the horn is working so the clock spring was a problem all along and the buttons are working so see the radio is turning up and the radio is turning down so the clock spring is fixed so that problem is good So it's the next day, we got the OBD2 scanner. So we, we're gonna use this to get the airbag light off and all the lights and see if it works. Got this at Harbor Freight, it was only 150 bucks. So let's test it out and see what if it's good. Taking it out of the box, see what it looks like. what it looks like got batteries with it so I'm gonna take it out of here start using it so we're gonna just set up this one hopefully it helps us with the problem Go hook it up to the car so this scanner lights up so it's easier to find the port at night so now it's being scanned so these are all the codes that we got so we're gonna check them out and take each one one by one so we got the airbag code just cleared but now we just need to put air in that tire we gotta check about this light I still gotta take the traction light off, but that the traction light should be simple. So now we gotta find where and which light and why this icon is still up. 
and how to fix it. So that's a wrap for this video. We've got the clock springing, the rest of the scans on the car. We realized it's a biometric pressure sensor. <laughs> so we need to change that. We made some phone calls, we called Volkswagen. They're saying there's 90 bucks. I see some online for like 20 bucks. So we'll just see how it goes and see which option we're working with. More than likely we might work with it one on online and see what else the car needs to get it 100 percent Our next episode, we're just gonna bring the car, go get it painted and do some of the body work and all that but stay tuned like share subscribe comment check out our instagram it's gonna be in the link below we underscore we stay positive stay motivated out